What's up guys? It's October 23rd, 2021 and I'm at a secret spot. The uh, Pine Creek unit of the Driftless National Wildlife Refuge. This is a tricky little spot. Um, it is between C.S. Klaus uh, Boy Scout Camp and Ram Hollow Little Turkey, kind of up by Colesburg. And it's not really advertised. In fact, to get here, you come down this little lane. It looks like you're driving into the farmer's land, uh, which I was pretty worried about, but I did have some good plat maps that showed this was federal property. And sure enough, you kind of pop over the hill and it's like, do, 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 do. Like in Zelda, all of a sudden you see this cool kiosk uh, with information about the Pine Creek unit. So I'm gonna explore here a little bit. Um, there may be some fishing down here. It says fishing in accordance with state regulations. Um, there's literature here about algific slopes and the Pleistocene snail and, and other things that lead me to think it's going to be a really pretty uh, place to explore. Um, it's very important that, you know, we don't disturb anything here. There's no collecting of any kind allowed. Um, there is some limited hunting allowed, so I've got my orange vest if I need it. Um, but we're going to check this out, and I don't know, maybe there will be some kind of fishing. Maybe it's just a nice walk. Um, prior to this, I did go to C.S. Klaus to check out Brownfields Creek, where the DNR has been doing some restoration efforts, uh, removing brown trout and putting in native brooks. But there were a bunch of Boy Scouts camping there, so I decided to uh, leave them be, obviously not disturb them. I'm going to check this out, and then after this, I'm going to go over to Ram Hollow and do some fishing and a little exploring there. So thanks for tagging along in this beautiful October day, trout fishing in Iowa. Let's go have an adventure. Okay, I'm about half of the way down to Pine Creek. It's taken me a while, probably hasn't been that long, but it feels like a long time. I'm walking on this, it's basically a wild field and it's pretty hummocky kind of ground already. Uh, come almost rode an ankle once you could easily do it. I wish I'd brought two hiking sticks instead of one to kind of feel my way through. It looked like easy walking, but it's not. So, um, part of the refuge up here is excluded from public use because it has sensitive features. So I'm going to cut a little bit to the west, maybe down this draw and see if I can get down to Pine Creek and check it out. If you come out here, I would almost recommend wearing gaiters or something because um, there are a lot of little prickly things that seem to have attached themselves to my socks already. I pulled my pants down over my cuffs to try and help with this, but there's definitely a lot of wildness here. It's, it's a beautiful spot, just tricky walking. So let's see where we can get uh, down by this creek and see if there are any fish in there. All right, so I've been hiking down this stream bed which is like everything else in Iowa this year dry um there's some interesting stuff I saw a little vertical cave some really old farm stuff like some wheels and things and iron um but hopefully here this is going to start to get down uh into some bluffs and down to Pine Creek haven't got a whole lot of time here want to make sure I get over to Ram Hollow do some exploring there but, you know, we'll take a peek in here and then I think I'll probably hike back up this creek to get back up to the truck. So far, decent. Um, nothing right home about, but maybe I'll see something interesting past the next tree. Well, it's a good thing I brought some adobo seasoning because I'm going to have to eat my words about this being nothing right home about. Uh, popped over the ledge and all of a sudden we're just in driftless heaven, baby. Just big chunks of limestone a beautiful valley a deep valley here and i found what looks like a little logging road which is making the going a lot easier uh, i'm mindful that having to go down this i will have to go back up which doesn't sound like a lot of fun but we can take it kind of slow uh, this is starting to look like a place that really is worth exploring some nice wild ginger growing here and we've just got lots of pretty stuff over on the right the east to me uh, there's some barbed wire. I assume that's the part of the refuge which is prohibited entry for good reason. So we're going to stay on this logging road and go down. And I'll try to put together a little map after this showing the, 
the hard way I came in and hopefully the easier way out. It looks like there's a lane along the property line that I can use. So now I'm getting a little excited. Let's see what uh, Pine Valley here has to offer. Hmm. Well, this is where the journey ends. <laughs> Got down to the valley, followed it along here. The brush became impenetrable uh, going down toward the creek. We got barbed wire to the east. I assume that's the protected part of the refuge. Came down here and barbed wire to the west. So uh, as I look down there, the creek is all the way hard to the other side. And there's a bunch more fences in between. So sometimes you take a walk and you hit a wall. It's all you can do. All right. Well, now I <laughs> get to get to find my way back to the truck. It'll be a lot less interesting than the trip in. Whew. Okay. Back at the truck here. I got some cows behind me. This is definitely not my favorite hike ever. I got crossed up somehow. Got on a lane that got me back here a little bit easier than uh, the way I went in, but uh, it was really, really a hike. Now, as I get back to the parking area, I see that there is a, a trail of sorts down here. <laughs> I guess I kind of missed that, just plunged into the brush. Um, I'm sure this is a really cool place in the protected areas. Um, it was pretty where I walked, but I can't really recommend it for the amount of bushwhacking and the fact that it kind of dead ends. Uh, it's tough. This, this would be a neat one if there were like a guided hike with a naturalist where they could uh, take you into some of those areas that are blocked off. But uh, definitely got my workout, so drink a little water and uh, go on to Ram Hollow next, see if we can find some trout. Right. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, it is October 23rd, 2021. I'm here at Ram Hollow and it's a packed house today. I can't believe how many trucks there are um, but it's a beautiful day up here in the driftless the leaves are turning it's wonderful i'm thinking a lot of these guys are probably hunters not anglers so i don't know i'm gonna walk in uh see how the fishing looks here and just do a little hiking and just kind of have a fun time bringing a backpack and some water and a few snacks and uh gonna fish till about sundown so let's hope we find some trout Thanks for tuning in to Trout Fishing in Iowa. The stream is certainly low, but there are plenty of trout in here. It's just much lower than I've seen it in a while. That's pretty clear. You can see lots of decent sized trout in here. I always love the little turkey river at Ram Model. I'm going to walk up and kind of fish my way back. These are great looking fish. This is interesting. Something you might see more on a Wisconsin or a Michigan stream. It's a beaver dam right here in a little turkey. So nice and clear under it, but kind of backing up up here. I wonder what the effect is on the trout. Interesting. A little upstream, you can see the beaver dam has created a pretty much a big pond here with fresh water coming in. Still nice and clear, sea trout rising. We have a little hatch going on here, actually a pretty good hatch going on today. Um, trout are rising, so yeah, this is a different feature than I'm used to seeing on Iowa streams, but I guess that's nature. Man, this is pretty cool. I got a message from a subscriber. He identified himself as an old timer. And he told me about a trickle of water that runs into Ram Hollow and how he followed it up one time and it made made its way into this really cool box canyon. And he said, you know, I'm, he said, I'm too old to get up there, but you should check it out. And so I, I did. I hiked in and just kind of rounded the corner into this canyon. There was a baby eagle that uh, flew off and it's just unbelievably beautiful so thank you old timer for planting the seed of the idea um i feel very fortunate that i'm able to get back here at 43 uh, years old and get a little more creaky 
<laughs> every year, but um, I'm glad to be able to get in here. It's about a mile from the parking area, but it's it's some pretty heavy hiking, um, but really nice. Just a lot of these neat slump blocks and beautiful maples, and then you come back in here and all of a sudden it's just kind of cool and fresh, and there's this little stream. So I'm going to walk in a little bit more, see what I can see, and then probably follow this little stream out and uh, do do a little fishing on my way back to the parking lot. I appreciate every message you guys send me and glad I can be out here to show you some of these spots and hope that you can get out to explore them too. Kind of a challenging spot to fish the Tinkara here, but I know there's a nice deep hole. Looks like there's been some stream improvements up here as well. So time to catch some fish. Well, as night comes in, about six o'clock here, I uh, find myself by the stream closer to the parking lot. That was quite a hike to get back from that canyon. I got turned around and lost in every which way. So, <laughs> fell a couple times, tore my pants. Pretty typical day for me uh, hiking. So, uh, back here, just fishing the pink squirrel a little bit, little tenkara. Uh, my crazy neighbor is at my cabin. I'm going to stay at my cabin tonight. My crazy neighbor is up there. Uh, deer hunting so I'm just kind of waiting until dark to drive in so I don't disrupt his hunt and uh yeah then we're gonna cook some burgers and hang out and in the morning I think he's gonna hunt I'm gonna cook a big pancake breakfast for us so pretty good uh camping stuff um just gonna fish a little while here until I can't see the fly and and head on in uh, appreciate you guys coming along today out here at Ram Hollow uh, it's been a very exciting day I definitely got my exercise Maybe I'll get a fish to show for it. Maybe I won't. But it, it's always fun to be out here trout fishing in Iowa. Thanks for tuning in.